Hey guys, so in today's video I'm talking about Anki and specifically how to use multi-line typed answers in your flashcards. So question one, do you use Anki? If not, start using it. Question two, if you do use Anki, would you like to remember things even more effectively using the tool? Well, in this video today, I'm talking about Anki and specifically an add-on called multi-line typed answers. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go through it, how to set it up and how to use it to your advantage. So firstly, what are multi-line typed answers? It's kind of in the name, but when you're reviewing your flashcards, this add-on enables you to type out your answers and verify it against the text that you've put in, but also do that across multiple lines. And this can be useful for snippets of code or text that you want to memorize. Okay, so why should you use typed answers and multi-line typed answers specifically? Well, the reason I believe that you should use typed answers is because they add an extra level of active recall. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, active recall is the concept of putting strain on your brain to remember a piece of information, and in doing so, you will remember it better. And so that's where Anki is powerful. But with typed answers, you not only have to strain your brain by thinking about what the answer is, you also have to physically type out your answer, that extra level of active recall, by having to type it out. And I think in doing so, it will aid your memorization of the information you want to remember. Now, I've kind of touched upon this topic of typed answers before in a previous video called Learning to Code with Anki. So I will link the relevant timestamp in the card above. So if you haven't seen that, feel free to go check that out and come back. Anyway, but not long after posting this video, a number of people mentioned they were struggling being able to answer with multiple lines. So this is really useful when you're learning code snippets where you do that across two, three lines, or maybe bits of text if you're an actor or you need a tiny bit more space in your answers. The inbuilt typed answer in Anki does not support multiple lines. And so when you press enter to do a new line, it will just submit the answer rather than allowing you to. Given that this was a common issue, I eventually got around to solving it for myself um, and sharing the link in the comments, but I thought a quick video would help. So what follows is a step-by-step -step guide on how to install this add-on, how to set it up for your Anki setup, and then go and run away with it. So here's how to set it up. So the first thing you'll want to do is actually navigate to the add-on page um, using the link in the description. And what that will do is take you to a website that looks like this. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is install it. Now, it's really easy to do that. When you go to an add-on page on Anki, you scroll down and you'll get this code, which is what you can use to install it. Then navigate to Anki, hit Tools, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then type in the code, hit OK, and it will install it. Once you've done that, you may want to restart Anki just to make sure everything's installed properly, but then you should be good to go. So that's step one. The next step is about creating a note type for multi-line typed answers. Now, to create note types, you will go to Tools, Manage Note Types, and you'll see there's a whole list of note types that I've already created. You may have less or more. All it is controlling how your flashcards look. So the standard basic is front and back, but maybe for something like geography, you'll have things like country, flag, capital, country code. And so it's a way of controlling what information you can put in your flashcards. So what we'll do, I've already done a few tests, but we'll add another one, base it on the basic note. So like front and back, but we'll call it basic multi-line typed answer box. Maybe call it something shorter. Fantastic. And now all you want to do is then control the card styling. So for this note type, we are going to edit the styling. So what's displayed on the front, what's displayed on the back, and so on. And this is crucially where the add-on comes in handy because it, we can actually reference uh, the description of this add-on and they've nicely given the code that you need to put in. So on the front, it looks like that and you're, you can see here it's saying 
a tight box. And then the only other thing you need is some styling for that text area, which if you, if you know CSS, you can control it further and style it more. But we use the standard, basically just saying the text area is gonna be 300 pixels tall. Once you've done that, hit save and close down your note types. Now all we need to do is test that this has worked. So what I'm gonna do is create a new deck by going to add, I will add a new deck and I'll call it test deck 2021. And then I'm gonna select my note type as the note type that I just created. And then I'm gonna give a random question of type out hello world on separate lines. So that's my question, if you will. And then I'm going to put the answer as hello, enter for the new line, world. I'm gonna add that to the deck, close it down, and then let's review. So test deck 2021, study now. The question that I've just put in has come up and I'm gonna answer it with hello, enter world. And we see here, it's, I press show answer and it's correctly recognized that I got everything right. I wrote hello and then world on a new line. That is everything. You have now successfully set up multi-line typed answers in Anki. So you can now learn snippets of code, snippets of text at your will and aid your memorization. So happy Anki-fying everybody and I'll see you in the next video.